Okay, we're here in Sundbyberg in Stockholm by the immigration office. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about your story, how you came to Sweden? So uh, we were staying in Irpin with my daughter. So we were planning to stay there when the war started. We had, you know, the full storage, the full uh, uh, fridge. So in the situation, even if the markets will be closed, we would be okay for one month at least. Then after one week, they started to bomb our house and the house next to us. So for two days, we slept in the basement. And uh, one morning, I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning, and I decided we gotta go because. It's too dangerous. We are not afraid for ourselves. We are afraid for our children, because we gotta take care of them in the good way. So we ran till the church. Uh, they were bombing us next to the church. Then uh, the volunteers took us to the bridge. You know, in Irpin there is a bombed bridge, so people are going under that. So we passed that, and then they started. The Russians started to bomb us right uh, from the up from the planes with us. Many people didn't make it that day. We could manage it. It was very scary. It was like I still cannot realize what really happened. I'm thinking about it like it was a nightmare. So then we got to the Kiev railway station. From there we got the first train to the Western Ukraine. It was not Lviv. It was Kovil, like the small city. Mm -hmm. From there we went by train to the border. Then we went by foot through the Polish border. Then in Poland they helped us a lot. The organization is very, very improved in there. Like they took us to Helm. In Helm, there is a center which is helping, like with information, with transportation, with food, with everything. Then we get to the Gdansk, and from Gdansk we took a ferry to the Nunesham. So from Nunesham we came by uh, thanks to volunteers to Stockholm. And then here I have a friend, so I stay with my friend right now. But she's giving a birth right now. She is right now in labor, so uh, we are gonna handle the things. I don't know. Maybe we even can come back to Ukraine when it's uh, all finished. Do you have a husband there, or how, how do you have a family there that you left, or how does it work? My mother is in uh, eastern Ukraine in Donbas, but apparently it's much calmer there than in Kiev region. So. Uh, I'm calm about them right now. They're pretty in the calm place. Uh, I, div I divorced with my husband, so there was some issues. So uh, something like and, that. And uh, you said you, you plan to go back to Ukraine when things have calmed down? I hope so. You know, my home is bombed. If, uh, I, maybe if she will wake up, I can show you the picture of my apartment. Okay. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I parked my car, I just bought the car three months ago, I parked my car next to the church and this church is also bombed, so I don't know where to come back there, but I hope if everything will be okay we will come back uh, to Ukraine, we will help to renovate it, to build it up again and it will be okay, it will be fine. Uh, final question. Um how uh, did you expect that uh, warm welcome from, from the Polish people and how has your, uh, you know, your time in Sweden been so far? You know, everyone is very helpful, everyone is very, uh, very nice, everyone is doing their best, the Swedish people, the Polish people, it uh, was really uh, pleasant to uh, meet with these people, I'm very grateful, I got so much help that I was needed at the moment. So I, I, I really want to say thank you to everyone who is who participated in this. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.